Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here at the flea market, and it's been so long. It's really not. It's been about a week, so it feels like it's been a long time. I say that all the time. I don't know. It's like, do my weeks go by that quick? Oh, no, they go by slow, don't they? They don't go by slow. It's been a minute. We're going to go inside here and see what we can find at this flea market. Hopefully we'll find some really interesting things. I'm going to be on the lookout for something unique, something that I haven't seen before. That's what I say. Did I tell you I had a migraine? I've been trying to fight this darn thing. Oh, it's just not happening. So let's go inside and see what we can find. All right, so first off, I see this green tiki man, but I don't know. Let's see here. Ah, home made in China. I'm gonna leave that. Dishwasher safe though, so, you know, Barb, she can use that. Barb doesn't like to wash things by hand. We get into it sometimes. <laughs> No, it's fine. Okay, so let's see what they have over here for the dollar section. They have an Oregon City elevator pan. Okay, so everything here is a dollar, by the way. In this section, it's not really a lot of great... Ooh, Jeffrey, calm down. Look at this pillow. So it needs to be filled up with something better because it's really floppy. It's a floppy mess inside of there. It's pretty heavy. It's like somebody put it in the shower or something. Look at that pillow. So that's a dollar. I will most likely get a seam ripper. Do I have a seam ripper? I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it to somebody else. It needs something else inside. What does it feel like? It's like somebody tore up clothes and put it in there or something. It's not soft. It's not super soft. Okay, so this is a winner for a dollar. And um, while we're at it, we'll look at the other pillows. No, no. Oh my, her face has been chewed off by like a dog or something. And then, no, none of those. So, so far we found a pillow and it's a good pillow. All right, this mirror is coming home with me. So it is this brown mirror, it's plastic and it has flowers on it. Another kind of boho item. So look at that, two boho things in a row. All right, so they got canisters over here, other little dishes. Let's get away from that radio though. All right, and then they have some wood and some baskets. Those are some nice baskets, but I don't want to ship them. And that's a neat stand as well for $15, that metal one there. Okay, let's go this way. Look at this ashtray. Oh my gosh, it's $4. I guess it's for ashes. Or maybe it's for all your sushi or something. Look at that, $4. It's giant, it's pottery, and it has a good heavy weight to it as well. No chips or cracks. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Hey, Lincoln, how you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up too. Oh, there's an ice bucket for $3. Um, I don't really do well with ice buckets, and that one especially, it has grapes on it and plastic wood, plastic looking wood, or wood that's plastic. No, it's plastic that looks like wood. Anyway, I'll continue. Oh, canister set. Hello, how are you doing? It's $12. I'm not going to do that one right there. They That one I would expect to sell for maybe 28 or so, but I don't want to. This one is pretty cool, that bar set. That's $15. And it looks pretty complete as well, but I'm not going to get that either. Lots of pieces, sort of in the mid-century style, 1960s. Hollywood Regency almost with that gold. So that's cool. And then a thing of sand dollars and shells. Ooh, look at the chalkware horse head. So it's a bookend, like a carnival chalk, but it's been broken, so I'm not gonna get that one. I wish it wasn't broken. I like the color green. It's very nice. Oh, look at this. Look, it's one of these souvenir trays. It says south of the border. It's $3. It has a lot of wear to the paint, and I'm a little bit, mm. It says made in Japan on the back too, right there. I wish it didn't have this damage. Oh, maybe that's just dirt. <gasps> I think it's just like, I think it's bird poop. I think I'll go ahead and get it. It might just be like fly poop or bird poop or something that flies and poops. One of those types of things. I'll just get that. <gasps> Look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious, sign me up. Look at this thing. This is rocks and it's an owl and it's gravel art. And I think, they, I think that's called vomit. I think it's called vomit art. I think so. Okay, so at this point, I'm out of hands, and this is really heavy. <gasps> it's a $10 vase. Oh my, okay. This is a problem. I gotta put this stuff up. 
Right there is the Tanala vase that I was going to get, and it's right here. It says Mexico. Keiko and Mexico. That's made in Mexico. I will get that Tanala vase for $3. Very nice. Usually I pick up the figural pieces like the birds and things, but this is a nice big old vase. So, and there is a horse with a top hat. Ooh, and here's a black amethyst ashtray I almost missed. Black amethyst glass. Ooh, baby. I like that. Look at that. You can have a place for your coins, I guess. All your money. All of it. And right there. In the depression, you could put all your money in there and you'd, you'd be able to look at all of it. You get it? Because there wasn't a lot of money. Okay. Um, there's a horse in a top hat. Oh my gosh, what did they do to that horse? Well, actually, it's a, it's a frog. They dressed that horse up like a frog. <laughs> all right, let's go up to the... I spotted this tray. Again, it's like this boho. There's some paint on it. I'm going to clean that paint off of it, but isn't that so cool? It's a TV tray. So it's not just a simple tray, it's a TV. Eat your swans and meal on there. Isn't that cool? Three dollars. I'm definitely going to get that. And also, I picked up this poodle over here. And like I said, it's like... I got this plastic poodle that was on the... Well, wherever it goes. Now, I'm not sure if you put a toilet brush in there or... I'm not, I don't know. But for three dollars, it looks like a bank at the same time. It's kind of funny though. You put your money in and just pull it right out. I don't get it. But for three dollars, does anybody know what this is for? I don't understand. Maybe that, maybe the thing on the head was added later. But I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, three dollars. So I'll pick that up. Well, this caught my eye, but I'm not gonna. At first, I thought it was a swung vase. <laughs> it's a bottle. It's a it's a pulled bottle. So it's Pepsi. Isn't that neat? One pint. It, they have eight dollars on it, which I don't think is bad at all. But could you imagine trying to ship that thing? It's a long box. Eight dollars. This is pretty cool. Somebody somebody should snatch that up around here, I think. Because I think it's cool. I really like the red in there too. Um, this right here also kind of caught my eye, but it's two dollars. It's an ashtray, little brass thing. You could use it for soap or, you know, ashes, but I don't think I'm gonna. I don't feel like it today. Mmm. Peppers. I don't think that's Lonza Burger. Nope. Alright, let's continue. So these are definitely different. I said I wanted to find some different things, but look at this. They are, they say they're wooden bowls. I don't think they are. I think they're more of a composite, but you get all four of them for $4. And they say on the bottom here, Fling, Flinegar's Agatized Wood Incorporated, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So you can't say Wisconsin without seeing Wisconsin. So I will, they look like they're in good shape. I'm taking a look at them now to be certain. This bottom one might have something wrong with it. Oh, from this side it doesn't. That just might be a little flaw. That little line you see right there. This side looks good. Well, I am gonna get all those because I think, where'd the darn price tag go? Because those are pretty cool. Yep, I think I will. Darn it. You know, last time we were here, we saw Siamese cats, and now these are the cats I would buy. They have $2 each on them, so I'm gonna be, well, I was gonna say I was gonna be selective, but could I really be selective? There's a lot of them that I like. These made in Japan type, oh, look at that wood one back there too, and the one wood in the front. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm gonna be getting a lot of these made in Japan type, and that one, the expression on that is something else, and there's a, a, a spare, a friend over here. So I'm gonna get that one too. I'm gonna come back over here and get a lot more of these because I like these ones better. Oh, and then that one there, laying on himself, or laying on his side for $3. And that one with the blue eyes. Yep, these are, they put a lot different ones, a lot more different ones out here. So it's really exciting. Okay, so I'm really trying to figure out what to do here because a lot of these, I'm just not certain I wanna pay $2 each for. Like these are the ones from, they say Korea on the bottom. So they're not quite as old. They're probably still from like the late 70s or 80s, but I, and there's so many of those. I'm just like, I don't know. I would rather spend a dollar for these type. 
but I did get these right here. So like this one was $3, that's a Nesco. And I like the paint quality on that one. So a lot of it has to do with the paint quality and the uniqueness of it. This one is $3. It's like a climbing cat. You can put that on the side of a bowl, like a fish tank bowl or like a fish bowl for three. This one here is $5. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one just because it's very different. The other one here, this one, I'm not sure what happened to the back of it, but I don't really wanna, I don't feel comfortable buying this one because I don't understand if it's like what's going on with that. I don't know if it's right or just doesn't seem finished and that one is four dollars here's a cat that's not a it's made in korea but the glaze is nice on that one i'm gonna get this one. Oh, and um i might come back over here and oh that planter i didn't see you this is napco wear for four dollars no chips or cracks oh look at this frog up here too there's a toothbrush. I don't think that's too old. No, it's not old. So I won't get that one. Um, this is a Siamese, but it's kind of, it's kind of worn. Ooh, somebody gifted all, there's like a whole bunch of words. All right, I'm going to think about, ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, this one, I didn't see this one. I'm gonna get that one. This one's five. And this one, also caught my eye. This is made in Japan for three. I'll get that one too. This one's a wood one. I'll get this one as well for three dollars. This one back here I will not get. And um, yeah. Wow, I think we did okay. Okay, by the way, I did see this as well. I almost didn't, but it is lusterware, but it's been cracked and you can see that it's been cracked and put back together, that ashtray. If it was not cracked, I would definitely pick that up for three dollars. But I will not. That is metal back there. I don't think, I mean, every time I look, I see more, but I don't think I want any more of those. Those are napkin rings, $2 each. That's just a cupboard. And then there's those down there. Like I said, I would, I would pay more or less a dollar for a lot of those. So, um, I don't think I will. This is pretty good. These are the Aladdin lunch boxes, the thermos type. They're metal. Um, they have $4 on it. I am not going to get it only because they don't do very well. They do about $16 to $18. They do even better if they have a thermos in them. And that's not really a color. Like it's kind of like a dark gray, but it's bl like black is good, navy is good. Of course like red or something would be cool too green but i'm not gonna do that one let's see what else there is oh this popsicle stick um you know what it looks like it might have been a hanging planter no that doesn't make sense oh maybe it was i don't know there's all these holes in it maybe that's for drainage i don't know two dollars is not bad i don't think i will that's pretty neat though is this is a bag full of stuff oh more siamese cats these are like the wood ones this one looks like it's been i don't know i'm not that excited about these little plaques they look like they were cigarette smoke damaged or something okay so i was checking out and i just noticed that there's this big kind of crack there on the on the edge so i'm not going to go ahead i'm just going to leave this one and you know if i look at it closely i could find problems with it so i'm just going to set it back down because that there alone is enough for me to be like, eh. So I'm gonna put that down, the size of it too. It's kind of like, you know, so maybe somebody will find it and like it because it's pretty cool, but me, I'm not. I'm just not gonna do it. Okay. Well, how about that? I think I did pretty darn well over there in that establishment. I mean, <laughs> I got some really interesting things. I did not expect that. I'm even here later than usual. It's just, you know, one of those days, I suppose. I thought that was somebody in there, but there's not. It's just a window that's down. <gasps> it's fine. So I was looking at the poodle thing with the person, with the person who checks me out. And I was like, do you know what that is? You think you have an idea? She's like, oh, I think you put a toilet brush in there. Mm. I had an idea that that could be, but I'm like, why would you put, why would you make it a bank? Yeah. 
It doesn't make, it wouldn't hold anything hardly, you know? Um, I just like, I just like, what? So maybe somebody could do something special with it. I'm not sure what. Honestly, if you, you angle it the right way, are you ever gonna see that it's like, I don't know, you won't see the back. Make it a tissue holder. No, not a tissue holder. <gasps> Paper towel, no. I don't know, it's just one of those things. But I'm gonna wrap this up. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.